Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel again to the Appalachian Home. So today I wanted to do a project, um, a sign I could hang on my porch, and I didn't want to actually build the framing for it. So I already had the materials to do just a flat sign, and what I used was just three quarter inch plywood. It's the smooth plywood. Um, if you don't have smooth plywood, you can use some sanding paper or a sander and just sand it down really smooth. And the first thing I wanted to do to get the look of a frame is I took my Jacobean stain, the Men Wax Jacobean stain, and just started going around all of the edges. Um, and that would give me the look of a frame. I just painted the center part with a white flat paint. Um, I think it's the same paint I've been using in all of my other videos if you have watched any of those. So I just took it, took a small roller brush and completely covered the entire middle part with white paint. two stencils that I printed out using my Cricut Maker machine. Um, I also have some other videos that I'll link up top where you can actually watch how I do this if you're new to my channel. But I printed those out and cut those out and I'm just going to remove the negative part of these stencils. I'm Usually I remove the letters and just do my stencil in that way but I'm leaving the letters as you'll see here in a minute why I do this. Um, it's just another way that you can apply stencils. So I'm going to remove all the negative part of both of these stencils. And I get questions sometimes on what material I use. And for these stencils, I am using just simple contact paper. I believe it came from the dollar store. Um, I love using that material for stencils because it's very cheap. Um, because most of this, you're just going to throw away and discard anyway. Um, and after you actually do your stencils, you're going to throw away all of it. So it's a very cheap and easy method um, that I like to use to do my stenciling. Now I want to transfer my letters onto my actual sign. So I'm using um, the clear contact paper and I'm going to use it as my transfer tape. I'm just going to remove the backing and place it on top of my letters. The tip I gave you all in the last video was to um, de-sticky this contact paper because it would really help to remove it from your letters when you get them on your sign. And I'm doing that again today because it really does help make things less of a mess when you go to remove this transfer tape. So then I just removed the backing from all of my letters and then I just placed the letters onto the sign exactly where I wanted them to go. So I repeated the same exact process for the second stencil and the reason that I cut out two separate stencils is the Cricut Maker, and actually I think any Cricut, the widest that it will cut is 12 inches. It will cut lengths of 24 inches um, because they do have a 24 inch cutting mat, but the widest 
that I could cut was 12 and I think this was 15. Um, and if you are wondering about the size of this sign, um, this board was 14 inches tall by 16 inches wide. So my stencil was a little bit smaller than that. But I did cut out two separate stencils and I am just removing the backing from the second stencil and I'm just going to place it on the board. Then I just took all of the transfer tape and removed it from all of the letters and I just made sure that the letters stayed in place and once I got all of the tape removed I just went over the letters and made sure they were stuck to the board on all of the edges and that all the edges were smooth. So now that I have all of my letters on my sign, I'm going to go ahead and put a, another coat of white paint on top of the letters. And this white paint is going to act as kind of a sealant. It will be the first color of paint to bleed through if there's any gaps under any of your letters. Then I will add a coat of black paint and that will be the final coat of paint. And all of my letters should come out looking very clean and sharp once I remove them from my sign. So now I'm just going to cover up the part of the stain that I don't want to get any paint on. I'm just using masking tape for this. Um, and I believe this masking tape is two inches wide. I actually go back and change this because it comes out a little bit too thick. But this is the method that I use and that keeps any paint off your stain. So now I'm just going to paint all over all of these areas with black paint. And this is the craft paint that I get from Walmart. And I'm just using my roller brush and I'm going to go over the whole thing. I'm using this paper towel just to dry off just a bit so that I can be sure that none of the paint does go under my letters and I have let the white paint dry just a bit before putting on the black paint. So then I just removed all of my tape and all of my letters and all of my contact paper and as I said before the frame came out just a little bit thick so I did go back with more masking tape and thin it down just a bit and I thought it come out just a little bit better. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you liked it or if you like these kinds of videos, leave me a comment in the comment section or a thumbs up. I plan on posting more videos through the week and also some more sewing tutorials if you like those kinds of videos. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe and hit that bell for notifications and I will see you guys in the next video.